young people. Gotta, we got to promote the sport to the young people. I go to Camp Perry every year. I look up and down that line. My thing is uh, I like vintage military rifles, like the M1 Garand. I was issued. I know I don't look old enough. <laughs> but I was issued an M1 Garand when I went to boot camp back in the <laughs> Back when Christ was a corporal. <laughs> and, and the M1 Garand is a fine weapon. So I decided to, that's one of the weapons that I like best. And the next one that I like best is the 1911. Uh, or excuse me, the, of course we all love the 1911-45. But the, uh, the M14. Uh, so I've got two match conditions, one M14 and, and one uh, Grant. And I've got it off the shelf too, so I can shoot those matches. But with me, like I say, the eyes aren't quite what they used to be. For me, it's all about the camaraderie. It's all about the fun. It's all about, I can't wait to get there next year so I can see all of my friends. And when four and 5,000 people show up at a, at a match, like the national finals at Camp Perry, that's a lot of friends, boy. And, and we have a great time. Uh, Gary Sinise, I, we were, Glenn and I were talking about Gary Sinise on the way to the uh, restaurant last night. Uh, or was this morning? But anyway, I'm old. Yes, I'm old. But anyway, uh, I invited Gary Sinise. I had a show to do, and it was to be piped out to every mil all the military around the world. And uh, the USO was one of our sponsors. And so I reached out to Gary, and, and he was major. No, he was uh, he was Lieutenant Dan in Forrest Gump. So Gary Sinise does a lot. You know, he, he does a lot for the school children as Iraq. So I thought maybe Gary Sinise would be, you know, a man's man. He would to come help me out. And I, I got a, a pistol for him. I wanted to give him something for showing up. He brought his man. He made a lot of noise that night. But uh, so I got the lock to give me a pistol and a real nice all engraved box for Gary. I was going to present it to him. I had worked it out with the Kansas City SWAT team where four of them came on the stage and that box was handcuffed to one of them like it was a real serious situation. They were locked in. They were, had their guns and everything. And I got that box and I went over to Gary and I said, Gary, I would like to present you with this uh, nine millimeter block. And Gary leaned forward and he said, Gunny, I've never shot a gun before. <laughs> and I almost had a heart attack right there on the spot. Gary Sinise, I always thought he was a man's man. You know, he, he does these military shows. He, he gets involved in Iran and I, I, Iraq and, and he supports the troops. So I just assumed. But I told him, well, not a problem, Gary. You uh, you go down to your gun shop. We'll send we'll send this gun to your gun shop. You pick it up. You give me a call. I'll come down and I'll work with you and we'll get you squared away. You'll be the safest individual on the range. Uh, you'll be able to shoot. You'll be able to tear it down. You know how it works. Four months later, Gary picked up his gun. <laughs> Took him four months. Obviously, he was extremely excited. About that. <laughs> But Glock told me four months later, Gary picked up his gun and he never has called me to it. So I wouldn't mess around Gary Sinise's house. He's dangerous. Man. 